the address the whole time you know i have just about had it with you taking out your oh so important frustration on me i'm not your new punching bag i told you the truth i didn't know how to get to franco's studio okay i'm gonna ask again how'd you find it then well i went to your barren and aesthetically challenged man cave to see spinelli and i happened to find this address yeah well does spinelli know you're here no which is actually kind of sad spinelli doesn't know a lot about me lately but anyway, did, did I make it in time? Did you kill Franco? I mean, I hope you didn't hurt him. He, he's a very gifted artist and extremely hot. Not that I would ever go there okay, again. Okay, please, but... please stop talking. I did not kill Franco. So he is alive? As far as I know. Is he here? Uh, do you see him? You know, you have to be probably the rudest person I know. You didn't happen to see any <clears throat> artistic photos of me laying uh, around? No, and this is a lot more serious than a few questionable photos. Something is really wrong with this guy. It's artistic No, do not make the mistake of underestimating Franco, Maxie. He's sick. He's capable of anything, including murder. Look, I'm the first person to admit that Franco is massively strange, and the fact that he's infatuated with you, I think, is really creepy, but that doesn't make him a murderer. Then again, you could always say, takes one to know one. I don't really see how any of this is your business. I mean, can't we just look the other Maxie, way? Can we just be serious for a second and listen to me? You and Crimson were a means to an end, that's all. I'm sorry. A way for Franco to get my attention. I'm not just speculating. I have good reason to believe that he's already killed once. I mean, look, look at this place. It speaks for itself. Maximista, what are you doing here? No, what are you doing here, Spinelli? The Jacko's foreboding is validated. A sincere apologies, Stone Cold. I, I realized too late as it turns out that I had left this address where Maximista could easily spot it. It is not safe for you to be here. I'm really sorry, Spinelli. I just couldn't let Jason kill Franco. He's too important to me. I'm not, I'm not sure I, I, I understand. Maximus's limited contact with Franco should not have rendered him important to her in any lasting sense, unless there's something I don't know about. No, Spinelli, are you kidding? I, I only said important because I still need to get a hold of Franco so he can do that photo shoot for Crimson, and it would be nice if Jason left him alive so he actually could do it. Um, oh, I, I, I bring disappointing news. My search has not elicited any results. How can that be? You can find anybody. Yeah, well, apparently not the elusive Franco. Uh, the, the only evidence that we have to actually speak to his existence are those gallery appearances from three years ago, which leads to the ominous question, why would the darkly focused one go to such lengths to cover his tracks if he do not indeed have something heinous to hide? So again, I must stress, please, cease and desist all contact with this man. But what about everything I've done for this photo shoot? It's, it's not a more important than your life. Look, in, in general, I... I strive to rise above ingrained caveman instincts, but in this case, I must insist you do as I ask. Okay, Spinelli. Well, Maxie, I hope you mean that. Please, can you just get her out of here? All right, well, good luck, because if what you're saying is true, whatever Franco has planned for you can't be very good. Okay, thank you. And me saying that doesn't mean it's okay for you to make him disappear. Right, thank you. Sorry. I know, occupational hazard. Any luck here? No, what about you? 
No, I went around the whole entire neighborhood. Nobody's ever seen Franco as the homeless guy or a famous artist ever. It's sort of like he's a ghost. I don't, I don't even know how this is possible. I mean, Franco's been here for months. It's not like we live in the desert. We live right in the middle of a city. Somebody had to see him. Yeah, and Jason, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's no way he's, he got the stuff up here by himself. There has to be a witness. You know, Franco can stay invisible until it serves his purpose to be seen. And he'll come out of hiding. And when he does, I'm going to find out why me. All right. We're wasting our time. Why would he go through all this trouble if he wasn't going to show up? Why does this freak do anything? Jason, do you think he's watching us? No, there's no cameras. I already checked. It just doesn't feel right. I think Franco wanted me to see this place tonight for a reason. And I think he's going to come back when he's ready for me to find him. Yeah. Yeah, it's Coleman. Look, uh, Michael's down here at Jake's looking for trouble, and I'm pretty sure he's going to find it. Uh, and I'm not crazy about him getting busted down here in my joints, so how about you do us both a favor and... Uh... Come on down and get the hell out of here. Okay, stop talking to me like you know anything about me. You don't. Okay, you have no idea what I've had to deal with, who I am, what Michael! I've done. Enough. Around. Not after what happened with Claudia. Stop talking. Look, I proved myself and you know it, so back off. You guys all right? You can skip the whole good cop, good cousin routine because I'm not going to tell you anything about Claudia. I, I didn't ask. But I have to wonder if anyone's telling you to keep quiet about what happened to Claudia. I was at the Metro Court when Claudia took Carly hostage. He was just still a little upset, Lucky. That's exactly what Carly was telling me. Yeah, you came into the house and started harassing Mom. I wasn't harassing her, Michael. I'm just trying to find out what happened. When you're ready to discuss it, just let me know, okay? Why would I tell okay, you that's anything? A, that's enough! Look, you had no right to come into the house and harass my mom and start questioning her. You should have seen him. He was acting all concerned because we're related. If you had any respect for family, you wouldn't be a cop and you would have never went against your own father. Okay. You know what? Look, go get in the car. You're no. a traitor to your family, so you better stop following me around because I am never oh, going to tell you car. anything. Get in the car now! Eliza Maymore. Michael still admires Sonny. I know, but at some point he's going to have to make a choice like I did. He can either get tangled up in his father's life or he can save himself. I know, he just needs some time, that's all. Well, he also needs to talk about what happened the night Claudia died. He admitted she's dead, by the way. He slipped up. Is that going to be on your official report? Whatever he's trying to hide, Jason, it's tearing him up inside. All right, it's not too late to save him, but the way he's going, you're gonna have to move fast. 